Hi butterflies, it's Amanda Jean here again with another video and today I'm doing part 5 of my series How My Eating Disorder Fed Off My Body Dysmorphic Disorder BDD Disclaimer guys, I'm not a medical doctor, counselor, or therapist so if you're struggling with your physical or mental health in any way please seek proper medical care I'm just sharing this so that way you guys know you're not alone. Now, part five of my series really doesn't have to do with my eating disorder as it does my BDD. Not only does my smile and weight affect my BDD, but also my acne. For my blind viewers, know right now I'm actually wearing makeup. So my skin looks pretty good, but when the makeup comes off, I got pimples and zits. And when I was a young teenager, I had really bad acne. And then when I got my period, the hormones from that made my acne even worse. My mom and I tried several different products from Clean and Clear to Oxy, just to name a couple. Not sponsored, but I'm just telling you what, what we tried. Nothing worked for me. So, my mom, as a, when I was a young te teenager, used to pop my pimples. And when I would get tired of having her work on my face, because sometimes it was painful to have them popped, my mom used to say, okay, pizza face, don't let me pop them. Let's let it get worse. And then my grandma used to comment, oh, your mom's skin was so pretty. You didn't get that problem from her. Or you got it from your dad's side of the family. And after, after my mom died when I was a teenager and I came to live with my grandparents, one day I was seeing my GP for a skin problem, eczema, when my grandma reminded me for the nth time of how pretty my mom was and how horrible my skin was and how she wanted me to ask the doctor for medicine for my skin. I really didn't want to, but eventually I caved and I asked, and we tried three different medicines. The first one was a pill, an antibiotic of some kind, and it didn't do anything for me, but caused my teeth to go black. I had allergic reaction, and I had to stop using it, and the side effect of that allergic reaction was having my teeth go black. So we tried another medicine, and it was a pad and it was to wipe my face and my grandma didn't like it because number one, it had a scent to it, which I agreed with her and it didn't really work as fast as she wanted it to. And the third and final medicine, it literally looked like thick cake batter. And my grandma used to say, don't wear it to school. They might think that you're on drugs or something, even though it said apply in the morning put in, put on a thin layer or something of that nature and leave it. So after trying those three medicines, I told my doctor, I looked at her and I said, I don't want to try this anymore. I'm done. And so it was a wise choice because a few weeks later I lost my health insurance. And then the problem still wasn't resolved and it still bothered me and everything. So when I got into college, I looked at myself in the mirror one day and I said, God, I have a lot of pimples and my skin's oily and sweaty. So I went to the school's nurse and I said, do you have any recommendations for an over-the-counter product I can use? Cause I don't have insurance. And um, the nurse said, oh, I know this great kit that can help with the bleeding and the sores and the redness. And she said, use it for two weeks, come back. Come to find out the bottle was really thick and the cap was hard for me to unscrew because I've got cerebral palsy. And I never really got to give it a fair chance. So I went back and my face was still red and sore and stuff. And I explained the situation to the nurse. She wasn't too happy and she said, try again for a month and come see me before the semester ends. I finally was able to get that cap off and I was able to use it like it was prescribed, but it was really a, a 
a losing battle, guys. And, um, so I graduated from UWF in 2013, and, um, the problem still wasn't resolved. I still felt ugly and hurt and gross and everything. And then, one day in 2015, 2016, I found a great over-the-counter product, and I still use it to this day, and the more I use it, the more confident I feel in my skin. And It's just learning that I am pretty and attractive, despite the words that people say doesn't define who you are as a person. It's important to do healthy choices, taking care of yourself. Butterflies, have you ever had anybody say anything negative to you? Have you ever had problems with your complexion? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll be down there to chat with you. And Butterflies, remember you, you are worth it and you are loved. I love you guys. Remember to stay positive and fly high and I'll see you next time. Bye.